Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra Tea Designs, and today I have a vibrant floral teacup Mother's Day card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to create my background, and I wanted to create this really cute scalloped and stitched layer for the panel that I'm going to work on. So I brought out my Waffle Tower A2 Lacy Layers dies. I love these dies. I bust them out all the time when I want something a little bit more elegant. I think they're perfect for that. Uh, so I bought them out in the a2 size and I cut them out of some hammer mill cardstock just because that's kind of my preferred cardstock especially to work on top of and I'm going to show you just kind of how they layer up there I just think they're really pretty and then I'm going to create the watercolor pieces that I'm going to trim down with the Tim Holtz uh which one's that one the brush stroke flowers mini I believe it is uh, that's new to me it's the first time I used it because it is a little bit intimidating um, but because this is my mother's day card for my mom and I know how much she loves flowers I came up with this really cute idea and I thought it'd be a lot of fun though this is a little bit tedious just to put the stuff together but I didn't have too any problems with it and we'll jump into that as soon as we actually cut those out so for my colored pieces I used quite a few different colors of sprays you don't need to do this it's just that I wanted a lot of variation in the pieces that I cut so I'll walk you through the colors that I used so for the pink that you haven't seen me spray yet here I'm gonna spray in a sec for the pink piece I used kitsch flamingo oxide ink spun sugar sp sorry there's sprays not inks uh, oxide spray spun sugar spray stain and then cocktail mica spray so i am using pretty much in each variation of the sprays i'm using one oxide one ink and one mica just to give me some variation in how the color lays on the cardstock so for purple i went with villainous potion oxide wilted violet spray and then fortune teller was my mica for the blues i used mermaid lagoon oxide tumbled glass spray and then snow flurries was my mica for the greens, I used Cracked Pistachio Oxide, Rustic Wilderness Spray, and then Wicked Elixir for the mica. And then the yellow, I did I did two oxides in this because I didn't actually notice that I'd pulled them out, but they looked really pretty together, so it worked. For the yellow, I did Mustard Seed Oxide, Squeezed Lemonade Oxide, and then Harvest Moon for my mica. And I mean, you could alternate any color variation into this. This is just what I pulled out of the drawer for my sprays. I don't own all of the sprays yet I'm sure one day I will but currently I don't so I kind of just picked multiple of each color family and then worked with it because I mean distress products all work beautifully together so I mean you can easily bring in say an oxide uh, mica spray and the spray stain and have them just look stunning together regardless of what color in that family you bring in but I wanted a lot of variation so that when I die cut this you would get different looks from the same piece of cardstock or colored sprayed paper in this case uh, so that was kind of my thought process there you could use uh, like just regular colored cardstock that would look beautiful too it's just that I wanted to bust up my sprays to play with them so that is kind of what I was thinking there and here you just see me drying all the pieces uh, and then I'm going to add a little bit of water droplets on top of my sprayed pieces they're completely dry at this point so I'm going to kind of lift some of that color off and again this is only to create texture and variation in each of the panels because we are going to die cut them so uh, to layer them on top of each other I didn't want them to be perfectly colored because the dyes are all adhered to your they're not adhered together sorry they're on the same cut like the same steel piece so you'll see that here in a second when I bust those out if you haven't looked at those dies before but I wanted some variation in how all of my pieces were going to look because some of them do layer uh, so then I also brought in my pinch bowls so that I could easily put these in the little bowls because there you can see all of the dies that come in that set they are stunning they are small they are interesting to work with but they're really, really pretty. And I thought that this would be a really fun card to give to my mom for Mother's Day. So you can see that I just, I put many of the leaf dies on this little uh, piece of cardstock that I had sprayed. And I ran it through my Tim Holtz. This is the uh, Sizzix Sidekick. This is the one I own. I use this for little things because it's so easy to quickly run them through. You can use your big die cutting machine. I mean, it doesn't matter what you use. This is just what I chose to use because these were all quite small and it's easy to keep in the frame and it's quite quick to run them through. And then as they came out, I would drop them in the little pinch bowl 
uh, so that I knew where all the little pieces were because pieces layer up for these. So it was easier to keep them together this way and then put them back on the little magnetic sheet that I keep all of my die cuts on together so that I know where they all are. So it's kind of my thought for this. Uh, so this card is obviously very special uh, because it is a, a mother's card for my mother. She doesn't watch my videos, so there's no concern in her seeing this before I actually give it to her next week. But I, uh, I, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of the backstory to this. So my mom loves, loves flowers. Uh, ever since I've been small, I, I remember mom having a garden with lots of flowers. She loves them. So I thought this was really fitting. And then the teacups, you're going to see me die cut those next. Um, they're going to come into play here in a second. I, I, I cut three teacups because you guys, first of all, know that I prefer things in threes, um, simply because they look better, honestly. Uh, uneven numbers are just really, uh, really eye-catching. You don't try to create patterns out of uneven numbers. So, but the three cups also has meaning. Uh, my mom, my dad, and I used to have tea together all the time, up until about two years ago when my husband and I had to move for his work, because uh, he lost his job due to COVID. Um, we moved. And up until before that, I, I actually bought my first house before my husband and I got together. I bought my first house, a uh, five minute walk from my parents' house. Uh, and I used to walk over every day that I wasn't at work at four o'clock and we would have tea together. So you're going to see here in a sec, I'm going to show you putting the, a couple of leaves together just to show you how it is fairly easy, though it is small and a little bit tedious. But I put on a YouTube video, I think I'm watching, I don't even know, Christina Warner at the moment, create something. Uh, and I just, I put that on and I listened to what they're doing and I just adhered my little layers together and I, I think they turned out pretty cute but anyway back to my little story so I would go over every day at four o'clock and we'd have tea together um so the teacups there's three they represent my my mom my dad and I um I start at the bottom with uh, a green one uh for my dad and then or it's kind of like a greeny blue tealy color and then the purple one is me because you guys know that purple is my favorite color and the pink one I did for my mom simply, it would have been yellow. Mom's favorite color is yellow. However, I don't have a yellow pattern paper that matched the other pattern papers because our cups are from the same company. So they all look the same. They're just slightly different colors. So though mom's cup should be yellow, it isn't. It's pink in this instance. But uh, it's just that's what the three cups kind of represent. And, and um, mom and I actually, we have our own little book club which I know sounds funny, but, and as cliche as this is to say, uh, mom is my best friend, um, aside from my husband, because he, he's also probably my, my closest friend. Um, she is my best friend and I spend a lot of time talking to her and, uh, you know, creating things with her in mind and all that, that kind of stuff. So, um, this was just a really special card to create. So though it is a bit in depth, um, it did take quite a while to adhere all those little flowers together and whatnot. I just, I'm in love with how it came out. And I think that it would be a really fun card for any mom who, who likes tea or hot beverages, coffee, um, and flowers. I think that this is just kind of the great look for that. So here you can see, this is where I pulled out the card stocks that are going to be my cups. So I cut the base layer out of a foil card stock just because I love that reflection of light in the highlight. Uh, so that's kind of why I end up going that direction. And I have three cups out of the Tim Holtz paper cafe, paper cut cafe die set, sorry. And I cut three of them out and then a base for the cups to sit on so that it didn't just look like they were floating in the air. And so you can see that I cut the first one out of green. Dad's cup is on the bottom. Um, my cup is in the middle. So it's the purple cup. And then the top cup is, as I said, a pink shaded cup, but only because I didn't have a yellow cardstock that matched. And I really wanted the cups to be very cohesive because they are. I also cut the little saucer that the cups are going to sit on out of the same pink cardstock from the top cup because that kind of gives you that... Um, the colors all really mesh well together. You could do a different color, um, but I chose to do pink so that it was repeating. Um, and then we're going to have those super vibrant flowers coming out of the top of the cups uh, because I think that's super cute. So we're going to stack them up and then uh, create that kind of a bouquet of flowers on the top. So yeah, mom and I have a book club and we read books together constantly. I am kind of considering making a reading journal. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of that. It would be similar not to a junk journal maybe more of an art journal other than it would have 
space for journaling. So it would be more like a collaged journal, I think. Um, and then I could just write, you know, what I thought of the book or what um, books I was reading, that kind of stuff. So you guys, let me think of, tell me if you think that that's something you might be interested in seeing. Um, I'm trialing the idea in my head, but I think that it would be a really fun thing. Um, it, I, I read avidly, mom and I both, we read very, very avidly. So uh, it'd be kind of fun to keep a, a look at what books I've read, what I thought of them, you know, that kind of stuff. And then if anybody is really interested in it, in reading, um, this would kind of, you know, I could maybe suggest some books if you're into the same genres as I am, that kind of thing. So you let me know what you think of that idea, uh, because you guys know I'm always open to ideas and I'm always happy to do different series on the channel so that we can kind of explore paper crafting in a different ways than just cards though you guys know I love making cards they're probably one of my favorite things ever because I like to mail them out and and send them to pen pals and send them to people and whatnot so and you know I make stuff to send back to people who write to my PO box and whatnot so if uh, you think that's a cool idea you let me know I'd love to hear it uh, and then I brought in a stamp set that says happy mother's day and I stamped that down on the bo bottom I guess it's kind of almost the whole panel because it's a longer sentiment, but kind of the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to adhere my layers together and start working on stacking up the cups. You can see my cups are stacked because I had to play with how I wanted them to lean. Um, and then, of course, that creates gapping because there is three layers of cardstock. So I did kind of play with the tilt of the cups a few times. And then can't you see that really cool reflection in the highlight of the cups? I just think that that's super neat and just adds another eye catching effect to the card. So here you're going to see I'm going to adhere them together kind of as I've stacked them, but I am not going to adhere the top cup because other than that little lip that's underneath the cup that it's inside of, hopefully that kind of makes sense, because I want that space to stick my flowers. Uh, so I need that cup not to be completely adhered down because I'm going to shove all those flower stems and whatnot into the top of the cup. Um, and we're going to do that now. This is a sped up clip, this one especially, because it did take me a little while to figure out how I wanted to do this. But I wanted to leave it in in case working on layouts or construction of that kind of thing is something that you struggle with. I wanted you to see how I did it so I can kind of hopefully give you some ideas as to what you're doing um, for the little like stemmy pieces that I'm adhering right now I actually cut those out in each color and that was only mostly so that I could have the option to use those even as just extra pops of color that brought in kind of a subtle amount of color but still brought in some color and I did like here I'm going to cut little pieces apart because I wanted one yellow flower on the bottom and one on the top so I'm kind of I'm going to play with the arrangement of this and I recorded it all so you guys could see it because it does it's not instantaneous not even for me who, who you know makes cards really consistently um I do have to you know kind of bring in a piece and take out a piece and and you know tuck this here and tuck that there so when I adhere the flowers I try really hard to only adhere them in the center so that gives me the chance to tuck like say a leaf like I've adhered the purple one down at this point but I'm going to tuck a leaf underneath the edges because I wanted it to have a little more green around it so I mean there's no right or wrong way to create this kind of bouquet I just I wanted you guys to see it so that if it's something you struggle with or you just enjoy watching the process, this kind of gave you that opportunity. And then I did adhere some flowers down on kind of the little cup holder that I've got at the bottom, um, mostly just because I wanted to kind of have that really pretty color across the card design. So I kind of, you know, trialed a whole bunch of different things. So here you can see I have a purple one of that little like berry branch and I'm going to adhere that in there too because it just brings more purple into the design which <laughs> you guys know purple is my favorite color there's never enough purple and it's kind of funny because purple is not mom's favorite color but yellow is mom's favorite color but when she does her gardens she always puts a bunch of purple flowers in there because that is my favorite color so when we go over and we have tea I still go over at least once a month whenever I can um, and we still have tea together every time I'm there Actually, generally when I go now, I spend a good pretty much the whole day there uh, so that I can visit with them and catch up on them when we have dinner and uh, we just, you know, chat the whole time I'm there. But and of course we talk books because that's, you know, very important. Uh, so she still puts purple flowers in her garden for me because they are my favorite and uh, it just makes me happy. Flowers just make me happy as they do my mom. I just, I have a brown thumb. I can't keep things alive to save my life. Not flowers anyway. You guys know I have five cats, so there is that, but uh, not, not plants. But yeah, so this is the card that I made for my mom. I, I'm pretty sure she'll love it. We'll 
see next week when I give it to her. Uh, I hope that it gave you some ideas for your Mother's Day card or a card in general. This could be a beautiful happy birthday card as well, um, or a thinking of you card, um, or, you know, a congratulations card, any of the anything really I think that this would be a beautiful card for that uh, yeah so that is the card I created for you guys today I hope you enjoyed it leave me a like leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already we just hit 4,000 subscribers which is phenomenal I'm so excited and I have a really big giveaway plan for 5,000 so the sooner we get there the sooner I can introduce you guys to that giveaway and we can check out the prizes that I'm gonna have so I'm gonna hold it up in the light here so you can check out all its beautiful glory you can see that mica in the flowers and that that foil old cardstock behind the cups that just is super eye-catching and of course I had to add some pearls because well it's me and I love pearls and so that is the card I have for you guys leave me a like leave me a comment and consider subscribing thank you so much guys and I will see you again very soon bye-bye for now